in the front of the first slave church in the south. The first slave church in the south. It's today a parking garage. So this is where this part of the tour ends. From Jacksonville, Florida. My brother, the Israelite. A king in the flesh returning to the holy city. Day two. Day two. My, my brother. Yes. What do you think about the experience? Oh, uh, man. I don't know where to begin. I'll tell you the, uh, the amount of truth that I you know, discovered being here in Charleston. Um, it's, it's revealing. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost beyond words, as you can see. Um, for me, and I know a lot. I, I know a lot about our history. Uh, I do know that you know the Most High is moving uh, in this particular dispensation of time. That's right. But to experience this with my brother here, and to see the unseen, even though it's right in front of us, wow. by way of His leadership and how the Most High is using Him to to open up um, history, right, hidden in plain sight for His people who have eyes to see and ears to hear, That's right. right? Because <clears throat> it's going to take some courage, even for our own, to step up, come out and support this man if you really, really want to get the truth of the matter, right? He said he's gonna lead us into all truth. This is part of it, I believe, in terms of our spiritual journey, okay? Uh, so I am much appreciative of this brother, what he's doing. He's sacrificing money, mm. right? Because this isn't popular. This isn't for everybody. So this is a tremendous sacrifice for him to be willing to take someone who want to know and learn the truth. What you do with it once you receive it is on you, right? Uh, and, and the hope is that we all make good decisions when we do hear the truth. But yeah, I would say come down to Charleston, support Godfrey. You're gonna get what you need. It may not be exactly what you want, but what your soul need, mm. this man's gonna give to you. So all praise to the Most High, y'all. Thank all you. All praise to the Most High, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow.